just missed myself over here. Is that why you're shouting? Let me see. Oh. So why are you shouting? I'm not stressing you. How can you stress me? You just did what is natural. Okay? Daddy. Yes, love. Maybe I'll be crippled forever. You cannot be crippled forever. God forbid it. I will do everything within my powers to make sure you walk again. You are not born crippled. You can't remain crippled. Alright? Just have a little faith. A little hope will overcome, okay? Alright? Daddy loves you. Regardless of how you are. Okay? You're just incapacitated at the moment. It's not gonna be forever. So let me go there, get something and clean you up. Don't move an inch. Okay? Come on. Sweetheart, good morning, my love. Hope you're not late for school. <sighs> All right, just give me a few seconds then. If you get there. Meanwhile, I um, hope this girl that actually bullies you in your class is no longer bullying you. No, since you reported to the school on several things, she has not tried it again. That is very, very good. I want you to understand something, right? You are God's best creation. Nobody on earth has the right to talk you down, to make you feel less of yourself, okay? There is nobody finer than you. You are the best. You are the best beggar in the world, right? Nobody should make you feel less of yourself, okay? okay. That is best. Okay. All right? I love you so much. I want you to know that. You are daddy's best, all right? And I want you to be the best of yourself. So it's time to go to school and promise me you're going to be well behaved. Yes. Always, right? Mm -hmm. I love you. Let's go. I'm the guy I'm very close to the office. I know now. Please, will you cover for me? I beg. You know my daughter's condition. I took her to school. Guy, I'm so sorry. I beg, I beg. I'm just, I'm just two minutes away. Okay. Guy, you know, reaching soft. But anyways, thanks for the information. Yeah, thank you. Just been insulting somebody. Man. Hey, babe. How you doing? Why did it take you so long to dismiss her? Come on, come on. I was just playing according to what we agreed. Really? Uh huh. By kissing her so passionately in her oh. car. Well, you think I did not see you both? Honey, I knew you were at home. For crying out loud, I had to act it. Oh. I had to play to the gallery. What else do you expect me to do? Hold on. What if. I was the one passionately kissing a random. No, 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 no. Why would you want to do that? Yeah. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you want to do that? Really? Yes. Oh. So you are the only one that is allowed to go kiss all the leaves in town, and I don't. Talk to me. Babe, you know how this thing is. How, how do we make all the money that we are created we're going to make if I don't do this? How do we go around the world? This woman is worth more than a hundred million naira. How do I get that money from her if I don't play this and even more? Just go back to her, Julie. You can go and yeah. kiss her. Baby, I'm sorry. Please. You know, I will never love someone else away from you. Are you sure? I swear. Because my heart. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. No, don't worry. Who is that? It's me. Hi, oh, really? look at that. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wow, you have such a nice place. Yeah. You are now a big man. No? Uh, <laughs> I'm a package, you know. Ah, <laughs> I, 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 my daughter. Oh, thank baby. You. I've heard so much about you. How are you doing? Can you go to my room? Oh, I hope I haven't said anything wrong. No, you didn't say anything okay. wrong. Maybe are you okay? Yes, can I go to my room? All right, make yourself comfortable. Right? Thank you very much. To your room, we'll move then. Okay? I'll be right back. All right, no problem. Oh! Lillian, I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Yeah, no, no problem. So what would I offer you, please? Um, I hope I didn't do anything to your daughter. No, you did nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. You mean you didn't notice her arrogance towards me? You know, look, see, this is just a child. You can't, you know, she's physically challenged. I understand that. But then, she's too young to exhibit such character. <sighs> look. I wouldn't want to say I wish you in her shoes, no. But then, she's a child who does not know how to swap through emotions. Look, good. If you want us to talk like adults, you call me. I don't think you're ready for this. Excuse me. Lillian, are you, are you going? Yes. Lillian! Why did you behave in such a manner to that lady that came? Lillian, my friend. The one that was wearing a hat. Daddy. Yes, I want the truth. That's because my friends in school told me that if you marry another woman, you, you turn against me and she will start maltreating you. How on earth can you believe that? My classmates. Nobody can come between us. Daddy got you like hard. Nobody can take your place. But they can. Nobody. No one. Nobody. But no one can take mommy's place. Nobody can take mommy's place. Mommy is very fantastic. So if anybody, if I eventually get married tomorrow, it's just so that they will help take care of you. You are the bride. You are the queen. If nobody likes you, they go away. If but, they don't like you, they go home. But my classmates like me. So, your classmates are still kids and children. They don't understand the ways of adults. Hey, babe. Hi, uh. What up? Thank you. <laughs> I got you a drink. So thoughtful. That's yeah. Perfect. Ooh. been on this system for a long time. What's up? Mm -hmm. Remember I told you about a client that came across her basic information in the office today? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you serious? Have you got the reference code? Sure. Trust me on that. 150 million. Exactly. <laughs> that's a huge sum of amount, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not all. Let me tell you about the benefactor. Her child. When she turns 18. That's crazy, right? That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, darling, you... This is just a list of your worries right now because the girl in question is just eight years old mm -hmm. and she is crippled. Whoa, yeah. you've done some research, girl. I got this, boy. I got this, bro. So what's next? What's next? <laughs> well, um, what next? Um, right now, I'll just 
you know, find my way into that young man's life and make him fall in love with me. No, 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 baby. We'll fall in love with you. No. He, hasn't he remarried or something? Well, from what I gathered, not yet. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, but do, do, do you have all the database? Sure. It's all in this folder that you're about to open. Go ahead. Ta da! Wow. Baby, this guy is cute. <laughs> Damn, this guy is. This is a beautiful man. <laughs> No, 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 I won't let you get close to this guy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 just tell me you are jealous. Yes, I am. Oh, come on. Well, you know, say the bubble no rich, you know. You know, fine, rich, you my yummy, sexy, tall. Stop flattering me, Jerry. Lovely, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> you know, rich, you know, you know that. Come here, man. You've got nothing to... Mwah. Nothing to worry about. All right then, let me enjoy this. Thank you. It was specially prepared by me. I know you, baby. You got me. <laughs> you got me right now. <laughs> but this is... Hey, babe. How do I look? <laughs> Honey, where are you going dressed like this? <gasps> Come on. Remember I have a meeting with a new client? You are going to see a client with with those two granites on your chest <laughs> showing? Babe, come on. Well, you know, this is the easiest way to get any man's attention. <sighs> Honey, that's... I know exactly what I'm talking about. You, you can't go outside to go meet any client with your titties showing this way. Oh, come on, babe. You know, majority of the men will always go for the looks first. Right? No. I do not agree. Come on, babe. Listen, you, I need it. You don't have anything to worry about. You know that. I have everything to worry about. Babe. Listen, I promise you, we are in this together. Cross my heart. <laughs> Come on, babe. I don't need this cool energy from you. Do you know what we're talking about here? A hundred and fifty million naira. So cheer up. Babe, do you know that if any man sees these your titties standing this way, all the man will be thinking is how to have sex with you. Come on, goodness. No way. Come <laughs> it's not funny. I know. I know it's not funny. I know. But <sighs> trust me. All right. I've got this. Okay. Nothing like that will happen. I promise you. Listen, I need to get going right now. And he gets home by um, 2 30 p.m. and I'm running late. So cheer up. Love you. Kiss, kiss. Come here. Come here. Mwah. Love you. Be good. Don't miss me too much. Bye bye. You're not even wearing panties. Babe, come on. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that one. Her car is spoiled. No, these are where they these are ways they rob people. Oh, Daddy, please, please, please. It's okay. So you, I'm just doing this for you. Hey, what's wrong with your car? The you have a flat tire? Yes. All right, let me pack well. Thank you. Mama will help. Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> so they the other one here. Look at Oh What's your problem? You don't look good. I'm worn out, babe. I'm tired. It was so stressful. It took me an hour standing in the sun before you came around. An hour? Yes. Why? No wonder. <laughs> she must be very angry. I am. <laughs> I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to conceal it, but yes. I am angry. <sighs> Baby, it was stressful and annoying. But what was even more annoying was trying to convince other countless men that were trying to stop by to help out that I was fine. <laughs> Why won't all the countless men approach you if as, as long as they're seeing these two granites on your chest, <laughs> they will stop. These two granites can take anybody to hell and back home. I'm not joking. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you trying to say that I am not beautiful enough oh, to attract any man out there? Oh, come on, babe. You are the most beautiful princess I've ever seen in my entire life. But you need to know that men are moved by the titties that they see. Yes. How about your fingers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, are, we are more to the things... You know, we see the body shape, all those things like titties, before we begin to even consider that a girl is beautiful. Really? That's the truth. But that's by the way. How did it go? Well, um, finally he came around and um, his daughter was in the car with him. He told me it was his daughter that convinced him to, you know, stop by because he had already driven past me. And then he reversed to help. Oh, wow. Mm. He came with his daughter. Yeah, his daughter was in the car. I hope you got his number. Babe, it wasn't that successful. I didn't. So what? What? How are we going to do it? I know, I know. The thing is, even when I tried to, you know, ask for his contact, he objected. He kind of... I'm sure he did that because his daughter was there. Oh, babe, I doubt, you know, I, I don't think so because um, he kind of sounded like a very decent and responsible person. Decent what? I beg you. <laughs> it's because of his daughter. <laughs> well, I... So what are we going to do now? <sighs> or what are you going to do? Babe, right now, I just want to go in there, freshen up, get something to eat and re-strategize. How about that? Good. Leave me alone. Good, good, good. Good, go right. Leave me alone, Jerry. <laughs> All right then. All right, darling. Yeah. I'm here. I'll join you. I want to beg you in the name of God. And I want to make you understand something. Since mommy went to heaven, I've been the one taking care of you. Like you know. I've brought six nannies. You've rejected all of them. I don't have a problem taking care of you. You're the sweetest thing on earth. But then daddy needs to make money. I need to go to work. So if I take care of you 100%, I can't go to work. And we're going to go hungry. We're going to become homeless. I won't be able to buy you the things that I buy for you. Why I'm saying this is because my management is complaining bitterly. If they throw me out, we are homeless. Now, I'm going to make another attempt to bring one money. Please. Mm. Please. Mm -mm. You have to. Please, you are one daddy. I want you to take care of me. I will always take care of you. It's just that I will not be able to do it from morning till night. 
okay so we'll have a help who will do small like wash your clothes i'll still be feeding you when i come back from work i'll do all that okay you don't have to cry we're gonna make it work right all right smile for daddy let me see your teeth your teeth Babe, what? <laughs> what? What? Listen, that, that guy is crazily annoying. He's so rude. Okay. I guess he did not give, he did not give you attention then. Why are you laughing? He's so funny. <laughs> I mean it. Okay. Listen, you needed to see that arrogance he displayed. Okay, tell me what happened. Alright, so I was in the car, you know, waiting for him to come out of the supermarket. And immediately he stepped out. I dramatically, you know, collided with him. And you know what a gentleman would have done? Show concern. But he didn't. Maybe 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 he is um maybe he was in a haste. You can never tell. Why are you taking him back? Give it to me. Understand, but I have used the same technique for seven men and what perfectly. <sighs> well, it's fine. Life is like that. <laughs> well, so are you giving up on the deal? Me? Give up? <laughs> when a hundred and fifty million naira. And traveling around the world is involved. No, I'm not giving up. Now, talk to me about uh, Mrs. Patience. <laughs> What's up? Babe, Mrs. Patience is not patient anymore. That's well. <laughs> Please sit down. Mrs. Patience is not. <laughs> that woman. Mm. I beg. So, uh, let me help you take off your shoes. <laughs> So Naomi, this is my daughter. She's my only child. <sighs> touch her and I'll touch the world like she's precious to me. Right? Sweetheart, this is Auntie Naomi. Okay? She's going to be taking care of you. Right? Um, she came highly recommended. I want you to collaborate with her. Okay? But if there is any complaint, you also give me a feedback, all right? All right, okay. Do you have anything to say? Any question? No, sir. I promise to discharge my duties with the fear of God and love for humanity. Thank you so much. That's well appreciated. Sweda, do you have anything to say? Okay, let me help you then. Wait, Hey, baby girl. She just offered help. And this is her first assignment. Why not let her take you to your room? I don't want you to take me to my room. It's okay. Naomi. Sir? It's fine. Right? Yeah. Let me take her to her room. Ah! So tell me about Aunt Naomi. What are your reservations or what are your observations about her? Daddy. Hmm? Yeah, Kate. Why is your nose blocked? Why are you saying that? Aunt Naomi, she smells. Becky. How? She smells so bad. Like toxic waste. Cheese. Like onions. Becky, look, let's be serious. If you make me lose my job trying to take care of you, we both will go hungry. You need to accept Naomi. You do. You need to look past those things. For that reason, I'll go to buy soaps for her. I'll buy deodorants. But then know that if she goes, I'm not getting any other person. If I'm not getting another person, I will be the one taking care of you. And by so doing, I will lose my job. And if I lose my job, we're going to go hungry. They may even throw us out of this house. 
that even the other ants are soaked would they even work? It will work. It's not too much. Yeah, but be positive. It smells like toxic waste, onions. And what? <laughs> she smells like what? nothing. You're the one who is smelling everything. Yes, go to sleep. Go to sleep. I love you, okay? But she smells. I can't smell it. Don't like worry. It's smelly for me. Go to sleep. Hmm? Good night. I love you. Slap your head. Hey. Hiya. You're awake. Where are you going? What does it look like? Of course, I'm going for my workout. When did you start working out? Oh, come on, babe. I told you about this a few days ago. Why are you dressed like this to go work out? Huh? Does... Wait. Does Luga work out in the same place? Of course, um, he does. I think his house is just around there. Oh, no. No, babe, don't, don't, don't tell me this whole thing is about Lugard getting your attention. Of course. Do I sense jealousy? Then? No, this is not about being jealous. This is me being worried about my girl. I'll just call off the deal, okay? If that no, makes no, you happy. that's not what I'm no, saying. No, if that makes you happy, let me just you no, know, call no, off the deal. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm human, I'm just... Alright, um, babe, listen, you've got nothing to worry about, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, come here. Mm -hmm. You'll be good. Be careful. I'll do my best. <laughs> See you when I'm back. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. Hey, beautiful. Why are you not eating your food? I'm not hungry, Daddy. How? Are you okay? Are you fine? When was the time you started having no appetite for your favorite food, which is rice? Naomi. Sir. Can you give uh, my daughter a few minutes to talk? Okay, sir. So, talk to Daddy. What is the problem? Daddy, have you eaten? Not yet. I'm quite busy, so... But when I'm done with what I'm doing, then I'll jump out the food. Well, the problem is, the food is simply tasteless. Tasteless? Becky. But there's nothing wrong with the food. Hey, are you okay? Okay, tell me. Is it the salt or there's too much pepper in the food? What's the problem? Hey, are you okay? How can you say that this food is not tasteless? Becky. 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 Please help your father. I'm trying. Did I do anything wrong? What do you want? 
Can I have shawarma? Becky, you can always have shawarma. But today, no shawarma. So you're going to eat this food, prove to me that you're a good girl, and I'm going to get done with what I'm doing by the time I'm back, because I've finished eating, right? Good. You know I love you. to buy me shawarma. Ah, there's no shawarma in this house today. It's just this food. So you have to eat it. Yeah, hey, uh, it's like you're hungry. <laughs> this is all we have today. So you have to eat this. You're really hungry. Oh. Uh -uh. Hope you like your food. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening, Naomi. How is my daughter? She's in her room sleeping, sir. That's good. Has she eaten? I wasn't eating, sir. <laughs> if there's a way she would ask for more, she would have. She finished all her food and she didn't even remain the bone. Are you serious? What happened? Nothing happened, sir. Just like that? Can I say something, sir? Please go ahead. Say your mind. I think she enjoys being pampered. Ah, uh, Naomi. Hmm? It's a sickness with women. Every woman likes to be pampered, including you standing here. I don't know when God was creating, he removed pamper. So when you came on this earth, you now like to be pampered. Yeah. Even a child born yesterday likes to be pampered, so. <laughs> Sir, you don't understand me. Um, okay. I mean, you should be a little bit strict on her. It's not like I'm teaching you on how to train your child, but... I'm a mother of one, and I'm speaking as a concerned mother. Okay. Mm. First of all, I did not misunderstand you. Second of all, I like the fact that you are bold to talk about it. I know that I spoil with pampering. Maybe because of I just want her to feel comfortable. I want her to feel good. I want her to be happy always. You know her predicament. So I think, you know, being very flexible with her will make her feel good. Okay, sir. So what would you like to have for dinner? When madame wakes up. Anything she says, I'm good. <laughs> exactly the point I just made now. <laughs> Naomi. This will be the final time, okay? Allow her the final privilege. Okay, sir. <laughs> Let me head out for gym. All right, sir. All right, so when she wakes up, tell her daddy went to gym. Okay, sir. All right, All right. in All right. case she wants something, test me so I'll buy for her. Okay, sir. Last privilege. Yes, sir.
sir, please. Do sit down. Thank you. Can you sit down, please? Thank you. I should sit down. Yes, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Take it easy. Sit down. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Oh. Okay, let me actually oh, myself. Yes, thank you. It's like it's been long you worked out. Yes. Okay. Yes, Sorry. Uh, Sorry, okay? Thank you. Do you feel better? Oh, I feel much better now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So Ooh. You're welcome. This has helped. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. I think I recognize your face. Really? It looks familiar. Okay. Oh, Thank, you. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I can't remember you said I look familiar. And I think you look familiar too. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you graduate from the University of Abuja? No. I schooled in the East. Okay, me well. My name is Logan. Mm, now I remember where I met you. Excuse me, have you been following me? No. Can you remind me where we met, please? You were the guy that helped me out the other day, the day I had a flat tire. Okay. You had your daughter in your car and you told me it was your daughter that actually Say no out. more. Say no <laughs> more. I remember it's been a long time. Oh, yes, it's been. How are you? Well, <laughs> I'm hanging in here. You know, <laughs> <joking. laughs> oh, no. no, it's been long, you joke. Because oh. for you to have cramp. Mm, yeah, you know. I'm still trying to okay. come up. <laughs> Just take it easy on yourself. Okay? I will do my best. All right. Uh, well, I don't want to take my chances. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I, I don't have any. <laughs> I know, women. <laughs> All right, please, could you just... Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Um, um, so you can... Okay, ju I just flashed myself. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right. Thank so, you. Meanwhile, um, what's your evening like? I mean, seven-ish. Uh, how about that? I'm thinking maybe we could... Hang out, get to chat, talk more. What do you think about it? Oh, um, <laughs> well, I, I think that that would Welcome be nice. Welcome right? Yes. Okay, so I look forward to, I will, I will message you and I will give you the location, right? I will suggest the location, you know, you're going to see it. I look right? forward to it. Right. Thank you so much. You'll My pleasure. <laughs> How do I look? And you look absolutely beautiful. Thank Where are you, you going? Guess. On a date. You guess right. <laughs> <laughs> With who? A client. Babe, you just came back from your workout. How come you are going out already? Okay. I actually wanted it to be a surprise. I am going on a date with Lugard. Lugard? Yes, Lugard. You finally got his contact? Of course I did. <laughs> I told you I was going to get him, babe. You are in for a big deal. <laughs> I just pray that this whole plan works out. Babe, how come you've never dressed this hot in all our dates? I don't get it. What are you saying? Are you trying to suggest that I forfeit all the deal because of your insecurities? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I trust you. And I am going to come with you this time. <sighs> Please. I, I don't get it. You trust me, yet you still want to go with me. Mm -hmm. When did this start? From when you started dressing this hot to just go see a client. Oh, come on, babe. But you know you cannot go with me. <laughs> if you do, it, it will just mess up the whole deal. <sighs> babe. babe. Nobody will even know that I was there. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll stay afar. 
Let me change into something. Whatever. I'm, I'm sure. coming. I'm waiting. Babe, you've been so quiet. Have I done anything wrong? You know I'm not happy with you, right? Was that why you were not talking to me in the car? What did I do wrong then? Well, if you do not know exactly what you did, there's no need talking about it. Babe, come on. We can talk this out as adult. Did you expect me to introduce you to him? What exactly do you mean by that? Huh? You think I did not see the way you were looking at him? You were literally admiring him. You were literally lost in him. You were Could literally- you stop it, please? Stop it! You're getting me pissed. Why are you saying all this to me? We have been in this business for more than three years now. So why have you suddenly become so uncomfortable with a client which you know that we're just there to seduce and get the money? Listen, I'm not caught up for all this nonsense of yours. What, what are you talking to? Who are you talking to? You want to leave? You want to walk out on me? Huh? Are you out of your mind? Stop it. <laughs> you hit me. Now you're hitting me again after promising that you would not never lay your hands on me again. This is what you do. You you hit me and then you apologize and then, then the next day you're doing the same thing. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do this anymore. No, babe, please. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, beautiful. Good morning. Hope you had a great night. Chris. Yes, I did. And I hope you had to. Yeah, okay. So I just dropped my daughter off at school and I'm heading to work right now. Same here. Already at work. Oh, that early? Sorry, I didn't ask you where you work. Well, I work with an insurance company. That is so fantastic. Amazing. I'm glad. That means my life is in safe hands. Why? Because you will insure it. Thank you. Can I ask for one favor? Okay. Please, how about seeing you after work? My house. Wouldn't that be too fast? Ah, come on. We are we're grown ups and our energy is great and we have deep communication and connection, so the time is a propaganda in this case. Uh, just send me the address to your house, okay? I'll try and be there by six thirty PM after work. Oh, Thanks, dear. I'll do that right away. Thanks for what? For not stressing me. A normal Niger girl will do one hour shakara, come add sugar banza on top of it. Don't conclude yet. It's just a joke. I know I cannot stress you, you know, because you took my stress the day you replaced my flat tire on the, the scorching sun. So. <laughs> Are we back at that again? It's past and you've said thank you enough. All right, thank you so much. I'll send the address and I hope to see you later, okay? Do have a lovely day ahead. Bye, pretty girl. <laughs> She's so pretty. Hi. Good afternoon. Um... You must be Naomi, right? Yes, ma'am. I you must be Stella, ma'am. Yes, I am. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're welcome, ma'am. Yes, Thank you. Hey, you look Hi. cool have here. <laughs> Scintillating. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. My pleasure. Please do have a seat. Thank you. Um, what about your daughter? Um, she's actually sleeping inside. She had waited for you, then she dozed off. Oh, 
I feel so bad right now. You know, she was the one that told me to stop that day and help you, right? How can I ever forget that? Good. She kind of <laughs> likes you. She's an angel. She, no, she's more than an angel. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to help? Um, I think anything soft will go. Okay. What else, please? <laughs> Naomi, let's start from somewhere. Okay, ma. I'll be back, ma. Thank you. <laughs> you have a lovely family. Yeah, thank you. Hope it wasn't difficult for you to look at this place. <laughs> not at all. I used Google Map, so thankfully you did not disappoint today. Oh, are you a testimonial of that malfunction too? It can be terrible. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Frustrating. I'm telling you, one day I was driving to a dead road and ah. the map now said that she's confused. At least it's a she. <laughs> 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 I was confused too, you know. <laughs> it yeah. can be frustrating. But thank God it didn't feel today. Yeah. <sighs> what? I want to date you. Huh? I want you to be my love. <laughs> Just like that. I mean, that is so mundane and strange okay but i think we're both adults right so i would rather go straight to the point than bit round the bush and let her arrive at the same point i find you very attractive and how attractive do you find me i find you very 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 attractive <laughs> your level of humor Intelligence is quite seductive. Mm. Mm -hmm. And when has intelligence become seductive? Ever since I met you. <laughs> <sighs> I'm serious here. <sighs> well, I think I like you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. But what? But I have a child, right? Mm -mm. Far from it. Okay. I mean, it's not your fault that your wife died. Neither is it bad that she bore you a beautiful angel. <laughs> it's just, it's just my fears. What are your fears? What are you afraid of? I am scared of being hurt. Hurt? By who? You? Me? <laughs> Do I look like somebody who can hurt a fly? Let alone a hurt a beautiful lady like you? Can't you see how fragile you look? It's not written on the face. Yeah, but they say by their looks, we shall know them, right? <laughs> okay. Is that a yes? <laughs> okay. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, have it. All right then. Okay. Well, oh, I, I think I'll go with my drink. No, see. No, no, no. Well, I'm I'm I won't hurt you. No, okay, there you go. Have it, have it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Trust me, I will pay back the money. Yes, I will. Just give me a little more time, please. Please. All right. Thank you. Are you back? Yeah. Finally, the Moku has fallen deeply in love. Mm. Mm. Babe. 
Is that all you're going to say? What else do you want me to say? No, what exactly do you want me to say? I am becoming very uncomfortable with this whole thing. Come on, babe. Why the cold feet? Do you want me to withdraw from this deal? I wish you could. That's the truth. I just wish, but the money is just too much. It's so tempting. I... So? So? Carry on. <laughs> That's my man. That's my man right there. <laughs> Ooh. So, I will be spending the night at his place. Huh? I said I'll be spending the night at his place. Spending the night at his place? Baby, it's too early to start spending nights at his place. Okay, fine. If, if you have to spend the night at his place, then I have to come with you. Is that it? Do I have that deal? <laughs> what? Did I tell you he's homosexual or bisexual? Pep, listen, I am shocked right now that you are thinking this way. Come on. Okay, so how do you want me to introduce you? I don't know. The truth is, I, I, I don't know. Just introduce me as anything. Your brother, your stepbrother, your, your PA, spiritual father, anything. I, I just want to be there. Oh my God, you, you're making that. I do, I do, I do mean to. Babe, this is not funny. Sorry. I know, I know. I know, I'm sorry. Can you just do me a favor? Please. No matter what happens, stay on our rules of engagement. Please. You see this baby girl right here? She's got your interest fully protected. Okay? Trust me. Hmm? By the way, you look so yummy. Hmm? You look so yummy, babe. Mm. Ooh, look at your lips. <laughs> Could you help me? There's something I would like to check in the room. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What are you looking at? My laptop. What are you looking at? <laughs> How was your night? <laughs> Did you sleep well? No, I didn't. Why? You left me all by myself. Why didn't you show up? <laughs> Where did you sleep? I slept at the guest room. So that's why you didn't come to see me? You know, there is a kid in this house and I need to create the nice and good precedence for her. Mm. Kids learn. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So creating an awful impression mm. is not, not so nice. I see. Responsible dad indeed. <laughs> <laughs> kind of love it, you know. I love the bond that you and your daughter have. Thank Mixed. you. It makes me feel safe around you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the kind words. Mm -hmm. You actually make me feel on top of the world right now. Oh. And one question is very predominant in my mind. Okay. Where have you been all my life? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> They're just serious. See who is asking the question. Listen, I've been everywhere. Just that you simply did not see clearly. But then, finally, I've seen you. Oh, 
Oh, well, that is because I persisted. What else? do you mean by that? Um, never mind. <laughs> what about Becky? Is she awake? Yeah, she is awake. Uh, will I get to see her before I leave? Leave to where? My house, of course. Why this early? Oh, come on, babe. I just spend the night in your house. Yes, and who says you must check out and leave in the morning? Well, I feel it's only right I go to the house so I can check up on my cousin brother, the one I told you about. Yeah, you said his name was what again? Chidi. Okay, but then, the last time you told me about Chidi, you also told me that Chidi is a grown-up man mm -hmm. who can take care of himself. Mm. So He still lives under my roof, so it's my responsibility. I just, I just, I just wish I could find a way to, to take that responsibility <laughs> off you. <laughs> so you Don't could worry. spend some time with me. Don't worry. You see more of me. More of me. <laughs> Promise you that. <laughs> Good morning, babe. Good morning. Trust you. What is it? What is it? Are you happy now? What do you mean by are you happy now? I mean, are you happy now? Pip, come on, stop, stop it. I, I'm tired. I, I yes, of course, you should be tired. How many rounds did you go on you? Huh? We just stop this. Listen, I don't have time for this madness of yours. I am tired, like I said. Listen, I don't have time for all this shit nonsense. I'm talking to you and you're walking out. Pip, what has come I'm over you? I'm talking to you and you're walking out. What, what is the problem? I'm talking to you and you're walking out. Babe, I'm so sorry. Please do find it in your heart to forgive me. I swear it will never happen again. I swear on my life. And this is what you say all the time. For how long will I continue like this? You, is this, is, is this what I'll be subjected to should I marry you? No. no. Why can't you just control your anger? I'm so sorry. It's just that you're always offending me. How, Frank? How did I offend you now? We have been doing this for the past three years now, successfully. But why are you so uncomfortable with this particular guy? Well, for your information, he didn't even sleep in the same room with me. He didn't even notice my presence. Such a nice and decent guy. Yeah, there you go again. That's the problem I have with you. How can you be, how can you be talking so nicely of someone you don't even know? Like you look me in the face and talk about someone, oh. a stranger like this. Okay. What do you want to do now? You want to hit me again? No, hit me. No, Frank, he hit me. This is what you're good at. He hit me if this is going to make you happy. He hit me. I'm sorry, I don't. I'll never do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Baby, I love you so much that I don't ever want to lose you. Hey, you need to calm down, okay? I will. You just have to calm down. Let's do will. this together. I will. All right. Okay. Well, okay. you know we need to take out that girl, right? Um, yes, I know. But I just want to be with you. Yes, I know. But um, you know, it's a step by step process. I know, but we need to take her out. If we do not take her out, that man might never focus on the funds and the trust bond. And we need this money. Hey, I know. Listen. Just come down, okay? Hey, it's a if you love me the way you say you do, 
if you truly, truly love me from the depth of your heart. I want you to eliminate her on your next visit. I promise. Stella. How are you, my angel? I'm fine. You look beautiful, as always. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Whew. Oh, now me. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Thank man. you. Um, Ma, did you call my boss? He said he'll be home soon. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, okay. Um, do you care for anything, Ma? Tell me. If I need anything, I will get it myself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Then. Um, I'll be in my room. That's fine. That's, That's fine. <sighs> Thank you. And you, my darling, talk to me. How was school today? It was fine. We went on an excursion hmm. to the zoo. Okay. We saw leopards, we saw lions, we even saw snakes. <gasps> even snakes? They were so disgusting. I know. Nobody loves snakes, my darling. They are quite poisonous creatures. In fact, I don't even like talking about them. <laughs> Anyways, um, I want to go get something for myself. Do you care for juice? Yes, please. Okay. Chilled. No way. You shouldn't be taking any chill thing now. Anyways, <laughs> I will get it for you. You'll be good. Be good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I'll just get this. Right back. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Have um, yes. Thank you. Chilled. Yes. You like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, Daddy, welcome. Daddy, welcome. Thank you, sweetheart. How are you? You're welcome. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. How's it? It's great. I think so tired. Sweetheart, mm -hmm. how was your day? Fine. Would you care for some juice? Yeah, definitely. It's chilled, uh, uh, right? Do not worry. Um, I'll just go get you a glass. No. Let her take a drink. I can't wait. I'm just... so dehydrated. No, no. Oh. Hmm. And it's so special. Why? I think it's because Auntie needed. <laughs> Maybe. All right then. Did we say so? <laughs> Thank you. Executed. Is that the most appropriate way to welcome me? Welcome, my darling. Executed. She seems like a nice auntie. Yeah, she is a nice auntie. Mm -hmm. I hope in school no bullies again, right? No, daddy. Nobody disturbs you? Mm -mm. Nobody talks down on you? No. Good. I'm so happy how you're lightening up every day. Getting better. Smiling for daddy. <laughs> Smile for me. I want you to know that nothing on this earth will make you disadvantaged. Okay? okay I am daddy. here for you forever. I'm going to stand by you, tick and turn, okay? Okay, daddy. You are the best gift God gave to me. Okay. And I'm so proud of you. Okay, daddy. So let me let you go 
to sleep. Okay, right? Daddy. Whilst I go and shower and also go to sleep, we have an early tomorrow. Okay? Dream well. I, I have the faith. It's somewhere in my heart, in my spirit, that is going to work. But the most challenging part is not even if it's going to work or not. The cost of the surgery is 15 million naira, and I don't have that amount of money. Four. Five. That's huge. It is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of money to just risk over what you're not sure of. <laughs> Remember, life is involved here. But I can do anything, just anything, to see Becky walk again. What are the chances of survival? Mm -hmm. It's a new scientific discovery. The chances are there, but I believe it's going to work. I do believe, I, I feel it in my spirit, somewhere in my heart, that it is going to work, that my daughter is going to walk again. I can. That's my daughter. Listen. I'll be with you. I'll be here for you, okay? Thank you. And I ask again, where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh, well, I have been around. It's just that you have not been looking clearly or seen clearly. <laughs> Come here. Shut me up. <laughs> well, what happened? How do you mean what just happened? I mean, you just kissed me. I'm shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I like your company. I, li I like how soothing your words are to me. They are very calming and they know how to compose me. So I think the kiss is just a nice gesture to appreciate all of that, you know. Until I consume it, then you will understand how <laughs> that is. That's huge. <laughs> it's a huge thing. Of course, yeah. it's a huge. Wow. Well, um. You want to see that Mugu, right? And who is the Mugu? Don't play with me, Stella. Look at you, man. Stella, it's high time you chose between that Mugu and I. Don't make me do something that you will regret. Something like what? Killing me? Oh, please. Stella, you know exactly what I can do. Listen, Frank, my problem with you is your insecurity. I don't want you to go there. That should not be your excuse. Do you understand me? Have you been having an affair with him? I'm asking you a question. Listen, can I go now? No, because I'm still talking to you. <coughs> you do not walk out on me when I'm talking to you. Do you understand me? Wait, is something wrong with you? I'm talking to you! Oh, what do you want to do now? Hit me? Well, no, this is what you usually do, right? <laughs> It starts with a slap. And then you go hard and, and punch me, use me like you're punching back. But you know what? If you ever, ever try to lay your filthy hands on me again, I would defend myself with everything that is in me. Please get up.
right here. Oh, sweetheart. Hi. You sounded so urgent. Hope you is no problem. Um, everything is fine. Just that I have um, something I want to discuss with you. For real? Yeah. Is there any problem? Can I sit? Please do. Come on, sit down. What is the problem? Uh, what about Becky and Naomi? Becky is in the room sleeping. Naomi, today is her off, so... Talk to me. What is the problem? I have a confession to make. A confession? About what? Do you by any chance know any Mrs. Evelyn Godson? <sighs> That's my late wife's name. How did you know about it? Well, I don't know if you know what I'm about to say. Go on. But I need you to know that I'm doing this because I love you so much. I came to your life for the wrong reasons. But yeah, I am loving you passionately as though my life revolves around you. This, this wasn't part of our plan. Our plan? The plan. Who is our? Uh, like, I don't understand. Can you, can you speak to me in clear terms? This is not the time for, for suspense. You know, I'm going through a lot. I know, and I'm deeply sorry about that. <sighs> Talk to me. So you're late wife left a trust bond for your daughter Becky which is only accessible when she turns 18. Well never heard of that before. I work in the same organization with my boyfriend. Okay. What we do is that we access clients documents especially those with some reasonable amount just like your wives okay so like how much are we talking about 150 million now. 150 million that's sophisticated <laughs> the truth of the matter is that i know that my wife is running well at home but i never knew she kept 150 million you know they say you will never know a person completely. So, let's say I believe this story of yours. 18 years, right? So my daughter needs to be 18 years before she will be able to access the fund. And Becky is 8 years old. You are aware? Yes. So between 8 and 18, there is 10 years in between. How are you going to be able to manipulate the 10 years and assess this fund? Listen, I could live with you without making this confession. But I've come to love you so passionately within the short while. To have any debts in my heart against you. Mm -hmm. Um... The game plan is to, is to poison your poison your daughter. And then you, her father, and the husband too, Mrs. Evelyn eventually access the money. And then afterwards, when we get married. I'll kill you. <laughs> and, and move on with my life. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, I'm dumbfounded. Like, I, I can't, I can't find words anymore. I 
never knew you that you you are best. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely something must be speaking through you, right? Or you've joined the skit industry like this is a prank. Where, where are the cameras? Stella. I said I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't stop myself do it. Even when I had the opportunity to poison the, the juice you had the other day, both of you. But I couldn't. I oh. couldn't do it because I love you so much. Don't you. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Take your hands back. Thank you. And do me a favor. Put yourself together. Carry this poisonous bag. Get the hell out of my house. <laughs> Don't you dare. Before Please. I get the police to whisk you out of my bed, will you get out of here? Please, I love you so much. Don't do this to me. Please. I mean. What did you say? Can you do what? Get out. I'll be okay. Sweetheart, you're going to be okay, okay? I just want you to be positive. It's going to work. Okay, but how did you raise the money to? Becky, the most important thing is that I've raised the money and I've taken the chance. You're going to be on your feet again. Mm. Okay? I call it for that miracle. That is the right spirit. And I can't wait to see you walk again. I'll be the happiest man on earth. All right? I love you. Thank you. Good. And you're going to go for this surgery? And you're going to come back as the first testimonial? All right? I'm so proud of you. Repeat after me. I'll live long. I'll live long. I will, I will fulfill my destiny on earth. I'll fulfill my destiny on earth. I'll be back on my feet again. I'll be back on my feet again. I will live prosperously. I'll live prosperously. As God wills it. As God wills it. Amen. Amen. Babe, we can't be enemies. I understand not all relationships end in marriage, but we can still be friends. You know that I've always loved you. Oh, loved? I can't believe I'm already in your past. Wow. Wow. I'm, 
listen, Frank, you know, this wouldn't have been happening if not for your temper. You practically don't know how to control your temper. And of course, you don't expect me to end up with a man who might kill me one day if no, I marry. No, I will never do that. Listen, I'm working on my temper now and if you have made up your mind not to ever be with me, God will give me a woman that can, you know, be with me. How is Logan? I don't know. I think we shouldn't talk about him. Hey. I'm sorry for every single thing I did wrong to you. It's okay. I forgive you the very minute I left your life. Stop talking like this now. What is you left my life? Oh. Okay, please, can, can you do me a favor? Can we have just one more date hmm. at my house? Hmm? Yeah. At your house? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you have a problem with now coming to my oh, house? Oh, yes, I do. I, I, uh, I, I am not going to do anything to you. I promise. I cross my heart. I swear to die. Frank. I... Where to die? I cross my heart. Hmm. Okay. All right then. Is it now when you want us to have the date? We can go now. Now? Mm -hmm. Right now, right now. Mm -hmm. That's why the car is here. Oh, all right then. So, are you getting something from the house? Uh, yes, I'll just quickly grab my bag and. Come with you, of course. I'm waiting. That's fine. I've missed you. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> Welcome to your house again. My ex is human. Oh. <laughs> well, nothing has changed. Yeah. Young woman, you left this house just a few days ago. Oh. Mm hmm I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, I was... Yeah. So I, I, I didn't mention this part. Mm. I, I made food. You made food? Yeah. Um, it, it's frozen though, so I'm trying to defrost it. Wow. Yeah. I hope you don't mind if we eat from one plate just oh. as before. That's fine. <laughs> but wait a minute. Who taught you how to cook? <laughs> Saving life since when? <laughs> yeah, right. That's good to hear, though. My phone is ringing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let me quickly. Yeah. Mm. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Oh, I did. Test good. Out of you. <laughs> I've been trying. Nice, good to hear. I've been trying. So, um, where are you going from here? Oh well, if not for you, I would be home by now. Oh. So home it is. Oh, it's mm -hmm. fine. It's fine. <laughs> yes. It's fine. Well, let me just say this to you before I go. Whatever you do, please. Do not ever, ever lay your hands on your woman. Yeah. Thank you. I'm seriously working on that. Well, good for you. 
I know I still miss you though. Oh. <laughs> but, but it's fine. Yeah, um, it's fine. <clears throat> I, well, I think you should um, should be going. Are you expecting a woman? No. No, because it seems like you're chasing me out. No, 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 no. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> no, um, actually, just like old times, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm having the urge to touch. Ah. So. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, so thank you for the food anyway. Okay, thank let you. me walk you. No, 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 don't worry. Just stay there. No, no, thank stop. you. No. Thank you, don't worry. <laughs> stop. Stella, you think you're wise, right? We will see who will laugh last. By the time you get home, you will be tumbling in your... Sorry. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. I had forgiven you already. Please stand up. Thank you. Look, I was not in my best behavior. You entrusted me with your vulnerabilities and I misjudged you. You could have killed I am. Becky, you could have lived here without opening your mouth to say anything, but you spoke out your truth in honest and sincerity that I wasn't so great. And in retrospect, I've realized how much that I've missed you, how much you meant to me, how much I love you. <sighs> but then, how is your man? He killed himself. How did he kill himself? Uh, 
Well, um, it appeared that he wanted to poison me. He tried to poison me with a substance that becomes effective after 25 minutes of intake. How I got to know, I swapped my drinks with his and um, he drank the one that was meant for me and died afterwards. Wow. So after all you guys have been through, he still had the mind to kill you. That's so cold. <sighs> well, what a man so that is your room. <laughs> Come here, I finished you. I missed you too. <laughs> I missed you too. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Oh. Becky. You're there? Yes. <laughs> Come on, you have a wedding to plan. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>